Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see PWHT requirements of different P number materials. Our flagship courses are Master Static Equipment Design and PVE Light, ASME Section 8 Division 2, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform for more details on scutoid.thinkific.com. Now, coming to your favorite PWST table. This is for P number one. Okay. So here we are going to see what is the holding time and what is the holding temperature given for post well heat treatment of this P number one, where our 516 gates 70 lies, right? So if you see this figure, my minimum holding temperature. So whenever you see code, you know, it's very clear, clearly specify that this 595 degrees Celsius is the minimum holding temperature. So I need to maintain my furnace temperature above it, right? Because so that I don't go below, I can go more than that. So the question which uh, you know, someone asked that whether I can go 83 above, so as per code, it's allowed, but now client will ask questions that whether you have reduced the material strength and all. Okay. So that is a different thing, but as per code, you can go above that. So now you have to maintain the minimum. That is what you know, code is writing. So even though if you are doing it in furnace, you will not be able to achieve, like if I want to achieve 610, exactly you cannot get that temperature right you have to have some temperature range because your furnace will vary it will vary between the temperatures okay you need to have different temperatures within that you'll have to maintain okay so maybe the tolerance may be plus minus 10 plus minus 15 so first that furnace need to be calibrated with that tolerance and then you can maintain so if plus minus 15 is my tolerance then i have to select 615 because from 595 still i'll have five degrees celsius margin okay so you need to have a heating zone above the minimum holding temperature that is the basic point okay now what should be the time this is very very important okay so holding time should be one hour per inch okay so now let us find out for what thickness for p number one it becomes mandatory that post value treatment becomes mandatory for what temperature uh, what thickness 38 for 38 mm what should be my holding temperature for 38 mm thickness based on one hour per inch what should be my holding time not holding temperatures so Praveen is saying 92 minimum what about others 1.5 hours that means 90 minutes 60 divided by 25.4 into 38 so give the value 1 hour, 1.5 hour. Okay. So, Akash, how you arrived at 1 hour? It's more than 25, right? So, 1 hour per inch. So, 38 mm is what? 1 and half inch. So, basically, see now this holding time is also minimum. Okay. So, you need to have more than that okay so because if 90 minutes is given you will try to heat it little longer right exact 90 does not exist for real situations so 90 minutes will be the calculation value right because one and half inch so one inch 60 minute half inch 30 minutes so 60 plus 30 it will become 90 so I can have 92, 95, 100, whatever margin I want to take. Okay. 
so i can give that as minimum holding time so even i'm giving 90 i have to write minimum 90 that will be very theoretical you don't have margin you no know, left in that now the next tricky question so that was comparatively easy what if i have 42 mm thickness little more than one and a half inch then what holding time again you'll do the calculation so Praveen is saying 102 105 Adnan is saying two hours for 42 so are you getting that question so one hour per inch so what about that increment no, whether if my small thickness in mm it's increasing then how much hour will get added whether i can just calculate like himanshu did one hour divided by inch so if 25 mm then for each mm i'll keep on increasing that that much holding time that can be one approach but the answer lies in you know that this is the minimum holding time so you have to select a time which is larger okay so larger time will is not limited so now how i'll select so typically if you see that 15 minutes is the minimum holding time you know so that we take as a incremental value for every increase even 1 mm increasing i'll go to add 15 minutes so for 90 minutes i'll go to 105 as minimum okay again if uh the next breach happens i'll again add 15 minutes so like that we can do even you can add 30 minutes then you know, but finally you have to hold it with later larger time but it's not wrong if you hold it for longer time but that will be minimum like 105 i'll try to maintain minimum so that 15 minutes becomes the incremental value for us making sense have you understood this point okay now for thickness which is more than 50 mm so for that minimum holding temperature two hours because for 50 anyway two hours will come and then for each additional inches 50 m same philosophy we can follow 15 minutes for additional inch okay so 15 minutes incremental time will get added okay temperature is same 595 temperature does not change because of thickness okay. now the exemption part we know that for section 8 division 1 and uh, sa 516870 we don't have to do pwst for all the thicknesses what is the exemption given if the thickness of weld if it is more than 38 then only it will become mandatory less than that between 30 to 38 if i am able to do preheat what is preheat preheat at 95 absolutely right so preheat is nothing but we during welding we maintain that temperature of 95 degrees Celsius. okay and full welding time this temperature should be maintained so we use temperature sticks to check you know, that whether temperature is there or not and then only you can build so if you are maintaining preheat then you can avoid that post welded treatment so all the time we do that if we can avoid we will avoid because pwst is not a simple cycle you know? so now 5a 5b 5c there are two chrome moly steels okay two and a half chrome so here if you see that holding temperature is little higher it's 675 okay so holding temperature keeps on increasing once the chromium percentages increases the holding time is same one hour per inch that is not changing so i have to maintain a temperature which is higher 
Now, same thing for more than 50 mm thickness. Over 50, over 5 inch, over 125 mm, there is slight change. So, for 5 hours, for 125 and any additional increment, 15 minutes per inch. Okay. So, don't have to remember these things. Just, uh, you know, if you can remember, if you want to remember, just remember the temperature for 2 and chrome moly, what is the temperature? 675. For P number 1, it's 595. So that you can remember. Now there is some exemption for P number five also. If my nominal thickness is less than sixteen, so all of this, if they are meeting, then only I'll be able to get that exemption. Otherwise, not. So the chromium percentage should be less than three. My carbon should be less than 0.15. Then only I'll be able to get that exemption for sixteen mm or less thickness. Otherwise, I'll have to do the post validated treatment. Okay. So if I'm not doing post validated treatment, I'll have to maintain that preheat of 150 degrees Celsius. Okay. Now the next table for 15E. 15E is for what? It's 9 chrome, 9 chrome material. So temperature here is 705 degrees Celsius. That is the holding temperature. The soaking time is same, one hour per inch. Okay. For over, again, same thing, 5 hours plus 15 minutes for each increment of inch. For in-depth training, and to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.